My name is Elise Gray, and this is Boston College at Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts. And I am a graduate student in the lab of Marcion Goebbels. This is a parasitology lab, so we study a parasite called Toxoplasma gondii, which I lovingly refer to as the cat poop parasite. Yeah, it's the one where they tell women not to scoop the litter because it's found in cat litter. But we researched that here because it causes disease in people, mostly in unborn fetuses. It can cause birth defects. I am originally from Colorado, and I was actually been interested in science for uh, pretty much forever. Even though biology was always my worst grade, because I was never very good at memorizing things, I really loved the problem solving and trying to discover all of these kind of weird mechanisms that nature has developed. I was a biology major, and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do specifically. But then I took a class that was on parasites, and I found that class really, really amazing just the interaction between a parasite and its host, because if a parasite is too pathogenic, it will not thrive. It has to have a host. With Toxo, about 10 to 15 percent of the U.S. population is infected, but they don't know it because Toxo is so good that you never know it's there unless you don't have an immune system anymore. Our main focus of our research here is to f um, look at the pathogenic life stage of the parasite. So we focus on the one that is infective to humans, what we're trying to do is understand how this cycle works. And we're hoping by understanding how they replicate or how they cause disease can go far to help treat people who have toxoplasmosis. I grow the parasites. I've often told my mom that I, I have to uh, get off the phone with her because I have to go feed my parasites. And they're called obligate intracellular parasites because they must live inside another cell or else they'll die. And we actually grow them in a human cell line. We infect the human cells and the parasites will grow inside them, then they'll leave the cell and want new cells to infect. And so then we take some from the old flask of parasites, put it in a new flask with fresh host cells, and that's how we culture them in the lab. So these are live parasites. Through our research, we can figure out what makes a strain of parasite or more harmful than others. We can figure out where these strains come from and how they change. What I really like about these parasites is that as they grow, they form flower shapes, actually. So they're very beautiful. Each single parasite turns into a petal, so they're very, very cool looking. And we can also identify potential drug targets, and I think that's a big one. We try to identify what parts of the parasite would make good drug targets. The best case scenario of my research is that it will lead to a better understanding of how the parasites replicate and how they cause disease, and that can then be used as a drug target. So I think one of the biggest misconceptions about being a scientist is that it's a very uncreative work, but one of the reasons why I chose to go into science is because it's very creative. The more creative sorts of people we have from all sorts of different places, the science will advance faster. The more different viewpoints we have, the better it will be. I think science is for everyone, and anyone can do science. If you're at all a creative person, and if you like problem solving, um, and if you want to contribute to your community, I think science is a good way to do that.